But at least for me, my target was when I get on a permanent role, when I know that I have some fixed salary that for me to get, when it's not fluctuating, for me, I'll start paying. James Huntington Opolot, a pioneer beneficiary of the student loan scheme, is a clearing agent at KCB main branch on Kampala Road. Opolot was fortunate to secure the opportunity to work within the 12-month grace period after completion of education, upon which a beneficiary is required to commence the repayment. Now, though, of course, in the middle there, when COVID came in for the first time, I had also for us to put it on hold. That when I saw COVID is existing, I said, no, to hell with it. I'll... Even with the disruption caused by the COVID-19, Opolot targets to complete the repayment of the 8 million shillings, inclusive of 7% interest rate, within three years. Mine, you know, even I wanted it to be shorter than what I did, but mine is for three years. Three years. I'm doing my installments for three years. Uh, you don't want it to go for six or what? No, that one to delay my progress. <laughs> 25 other pioneer students have cleared the debt even before the 6 to 12 year repayment period expires. The Higher Education Students Financing Board indicates that 97% of the beneficiaries of the loan scheme are absorbed in the job sector. So we have been intentionally supporting these programs because they are highlighted in the NDP as human resource gaps, but also we know that they are employable right now. So we have not had uh, such a big number of our former students who are not employed. Although the program appears to be successful, the financing board fears that many of the 3,000 beneficiaries who owe money will not be able to repay. Right now we have, we have um, about 30% of the people who are expected to be paying are paying back. So we, we, we still have uh, over 60% of our, of our former beneficiaries who are yet to remit something to the board or who are remitting but not very consistently. The board is targeting to collect 32 billion shillings from the lot in a period of 12 years, 900 million of this in this financial year. They are considering using coercive means after about two years in case the respective beneficiaries do not heed the agreement. Some of the measures they are considering are the integration of data services with the Ministry of Public Service and Uganda Revenue Authority by tracking the beneficiaries through their tax identification numbers and remittances for pay as you earn, NSSF contributions, and denial of services. Now, in our neighboring countries, uh, I will give an example in Kenya, you don't stand for a political position if you are in default with your student loan. So these are some of the things that uh, we are also venturing into. Um, in the future, we, it may become a little difficult for you to renew your passport if you are in default. The board says employers have suggested the need for the beneficiaries' academic documents to be marked with the codes, watermarked or original copies retained. Jackson Onyango, NTV.